All right, everyone, here we are with ticker symbol JGX, Jaguar Health Inc. And before we jump into this chart, I want to say welcome to all the first time viewers and investors. Welcome to the channel, Invest for Tomorrow. To all the subscribers, welcome back. And as we jump into this chart, I just want to quickly announce the fact that I have a Twitter account now. The link is down below. You can follow me there for notifications you might miss on YouTube. And also, stay tuned till the end of this video. I have a new ticker symbol you won't want to miss. You definitely want to add this to your watch list. Right now, it's looking a bit speculative because of how much it ran up. It's having a slight pullback. But the good news is ARK Invest loaded up on shares on this one and made this one go from about the middle of like in the 20s or maybe like the 10 to 20s on the list of their ETF. I don't know if you guys seen them before, but you'll see it here later in the video. And it went from that position all the way to first on the list. That right there is a pretty bold statement. I'm looking forward to do updates on how ARK Invest either continues to load up on shares or shaves off their position. But right now, all I can see them doing is loading up on more shares. So stay tuned for that information. I'm going to share with you guys all about it towards the end of this video. So here we are with JGX stock and it has went in the downward spiral so we've been seeing this downward trend for a little bit now we we haven't really talked much about it because it looked kind of leveled off it was kind of sideways consolidating and now it actually broke through support and now we're seeing some points of reference that we need to watch so the first thing is this was broken through 296 this is probably one of the most important support levels moving forward right being one of the second lowest points reached in this whole entire downward trend from the highs up here of 447 450 almost right now the lowest point reach which was the most volatile candlestick in the downward trend as this has been going downward slowly is 281 and that's really close to our support we're about to look at it but we're sitting at 292 so it's very important to keep that in mind as well we're slightly above it we just need to see if the bears are going to pull this down even lower or could the bulls reappear and get out of this because we are still in tug of war zone but the bears right now have been dominating this since the 14th pulling it down so this is something we need to pay close attention to so we got some important numbers here on broader spectrum of things and narrow spectrum of things so let's look at this a little bit broader now if support gets broken through the next support level would be here at 248 i definitely recommend writing that down and then the next one would be down here if it gets that volatile which would be 205 have that dissected look at how this stock reacts if it breaks through support and the next support and see if the bulls try to reappear and so forth now resistance needs to be broken through and the first resistance level that the bulls definitely want to break through once they make it through the 50-day moving average is up here at 319 and then the next one would be at 330 i think 330 would be the most important one because it is one of the times where the bulls tried to reappear and get this out of bearish territory and it was pulled down once again so 330 is going to be pretty significant moving forward but first they need to break through 319 and before even getting there we're going to talk about the resistance level they need to break through to work their way closer to the 50-day moving average so the 50-day moving average is 315 now our support level is 280 if that gets broken through that's one cent below the lowest point reached in this whole entire sideways slight downward trend and that was 281 here right so we definitely want to keep that in mind 280 we need to watch this closely if that gets broken through the bears are definitely dominating and pulling this further away from the 50-day moving average in the downward direction so we want to keep this in mind we need to pay close attention to how this stock reacts if it breaks through 280 how quickly is it moving down or are the bulls trying to reappear now we're currently sitting at 292 now our resistance level on the other side of things is 302 now i want you guys to be aware that 302 if that gets broken through does not signify that the bulls have gained control this is just an indicator for us investors to know where the stock is heading and if momentum continued now 
if the bulls can go ahead and turn that into a support they're on their way to reaching newer heights and new resistance levels because they can pull away from it so 302 is significant but does not signify once again i want to emphasize that that the bulls are guaranteed back into bullish territory and that they're gaining control they need to break through 315 and pull away from it significantly to start to gain leverage but before getting to 315 the first step is breaking through 302 turning it into a support and pulling away from it to reach newer highs and new resistance levels as always if you found this video helpful and informative please do so and subscribe don't forget to click on the bell to turn on all notifications and not miss a single video that i post share this with your friends and community and don't forget to hit the like button to let me know you watch this video stay tuned till the end because i'm about to share with you guys the ticker symbol you won't want to miss and especially with how arc invest has taken a large position on this one so for everyone that has stayed till the end of the video the ticker symbol i'm about to share with you guys it's looking a little bit speculative we're going to pull up the chart right now in just a moment but one of the biggest things that caught my attention is the fact that it moved up in the ranks of the etf that arc invest has right it actually was in the lower end and it started to work its way up and here we are now seeing it at the very top it's actually number one it was previously number two most recently right when this first run happened and now it's number one now i want to see how it reacts when they refresh this information later tonight and i may do an update and also follow it for the next following day so stay tuned for that but the ticker symbol is s r n t saragon networks now this is in the 5g sector so this is a pretty hot stock now even at the price that it's at now the reason why i want every single investor to be aware that this may be speculative is because it ran up from three dollars and some change all the way up to almost seven dollars and it's having a slight pullback sitting now at 550 so we definitely need to see this cool off we need to see what's going on what all the hype is and if there's going to be a good entry point and if it even breaks through one of the main support levels that i'm watching which is 450 if it consolidates somewhere above it it may be a good sign or a healthy sign moving forward because look at how arc invest has this as number one in their etf izrl now this etf is a little bit smaller when it comes to market value and their position size on their ticker symbols and these different stocks but the fact that they have it as number one i mean this moved up in the ranks they loaded up on shares they do not want to miss out on this opportunity they see a lot of potential now with everything that happened and all the changes for crnt but i'm looking forward to see this go up even higher like become two three million shares and that will be a bold statement how arc invest has been treated nano dimensions skills open door you know when it was ipob and then it became open and all these different ticker symbols even workhorse that they just keep on piling on more stocks so i look forward to doing an update on this this is from the 19th yesterday's it has not been updated but i look forward to seeing this number get higher and especially because the price dipped i can imagine them taking a larger position that's just going to be my opinion we got to see we have to see how they react and if they continue to load up on this they see potential here and room that far beyond any of us can see on this chart so it is a little bit speculative right now due to the fact that it ran up it's cooling off we want to see how this cools off but the fact that arc invest has it as number one and they have over a million shares i look forward to this getting more shares added to it that's going to be the bold statement that's going to let us know that this is not as speculative as we think right now it's looking speculative we need to watch it closely so stay tuned for that updated video i'll probably post it down on the description down below once i do it or if you comment down below i will share with you directly the link to that video when i do a full thorough analysis i see what arc invest is doing if they load up on more of their position on this one on their etf and also i'll do a little bit more research on this company so stay tuned for that once again the ticker symbol is crnt i'm not here to tell you guys to buy sell or hold any position in this 
I'm just here to enlighten you guys that you definitely want to keep this one on your radar moving forward. Thank you guys so much for watching and let's make some money.